what day it is. Do you? I don't actually know what day it um, is. I know today is Thursday. I know that. If you give me an approximate number to the Thursday, I don't know. <laughs> it's a couple days after the holiday. And yeah, it's close to New Year. Yeah. And I will tell you this. <laughs> I'm at a place where today I did not set my alarm, but luckily my husband's been working every day this week, so he was like, hey, don't you have to work today? Don't you need to wake up? And I was like, yes, and I do have to wash my hair, so it's time to get up. It's time to moti motivate. Here we go. No motivation, but no. here we are. Yay! Put on makeup the first time since Christmas. And I actually washed my hair since the first time. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. I, mean, I, got, I had enough spray to cover the gray, so I'm feeling like a win today. So as per usual, we lamented this morning about how successful our holiday was with our significant others who we love and adore. Love. But that we're guessing that's a very shared emotion amongst our audience. And so yes. let's talk about how to get what you really want, right? Because there's some good stuff. Honestly, there's some good yeah. stuff. And I feel yeah. like, you know, after all month, you're just like buying and buying and buying and getting to other people and you're like, I'm over it. But I will say, stepping into the store, I was like, yeah, I need that. I deserve that. I want that. You earned that. I earned you it. earned that. And you earned it too. You did. Your 2.30 a.m. gift wrapping. Yes. yes. Moving it's the here. elf. Then actually chucking, kids ears, chucking the elf into Your some rust. random closet and be like, don't forget that I need to know where that is next year. Next year on yes. November 30th, when yes. you're digging through all the bins. Yes. That was us. Yes. Two o'clock in the morning when I like, sat straight up in bed and was like, ah! <laughs> I will say this, that our elf showed up on the 13th of December because we could not find Mason the elf until the 13th. I think the 13th feels like the right It right felt day. great. It felt great. It felt it's easy. Like the 12 days of Christmas. It does. Okay, can we just, before we get into this amazing rack, you guys, how cute does she look? How cute does Heidi look? I want to look like this, I don't know, seven days after the holidays. What are you wearing? I'm wearing this amazing Pistola denim dress. So here's the deal, you know. It's all about denim. Yeah. This year. This is... We've been talking about denim all fall season, all holiday, but spring is insider track all about denim. All the ways, all the things, including yeah. a great denim dress. Absolutely love this because it kind of feels like a denim shirt and a denim skirt. I had a baby made into a dress. <laughs> it's like relaxed on top, which I'm here for that. So cute. gives you some shape at the waist and this slit makes it so easy to walk in. Yes. It's great. You look so pulled together, but literally it's just like that true one piece dressing, like upgrading that jumpsuit mirage. into a mirage. We all need the mirage yes. right now. Above. We do. <laughs> right? Right. We all need the mirage. And then can we talk about the boots? Yes. Because everybody needs a great pair of tall boots because, another insider tip, denim skirts are a huge thing this upcoming spring season, but we're not going to have like super warm weather for quite a few months. Totally. Totally. So a tall boot is the way to go. Yep. And if you're going to get one, get it on sale. Yeah. P.S. Having a little clearance sale right now. So Heidi's boots, major, major, major. price drop. Like major. Maybe under a hundred, yes. we're thinking. Yes. yes. And we can we will confirm for you. If we do the math right. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> right now, a little dicey. We're not there. But they're corkies and they're so so comfy gang. And I absolutely adore them. Like a like a touch of Western, but not over the top, so it doesn't feel costumey, which I think yes. can be like a little bit of a fine line sometimes with a Western boot. So I love that this has like that great burnish like toe great little detailing on the seaming but it's got a zip so easy 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 to get on even over those yeah. strong caps same here always strong caps. From the MA. i want to make one like call out from a styling perspective i feel like whenever you get into these longer skirts longer dresses everybody's like what shoe am i wearing yes. and i will say a tall boot crew is always yes. the most leg lengthening I yes. think what everybody wants to do instinctually is like you want to do a booty right here. And sometimes, which it's totally okay, I think it depends on like how wide or fitted that booty is. Sometimes it can cut you off, but a tall boot just keeps the eye moving all the way up. So I love that this one's in that tan, can be worn with so many different ways, but with that denim skirt this season, that tall boot is gonna be your best friend totally. until you're ready to transition into a sneaker, into a sandal. Yes, like something, something like a little that. more open. Yeah. And a little bit of skin. Try not to be blinded by the white. <laughs> Or that is my legs that are peeking out of here. God dang, December. Shut it down. Or self tanner before we hop done. You don't need another thing on your list. You look great. It's like a little cold too. So like, <laughs> like, like veiny blue. blue. Just try to rub some circulation in there. But slap okay, so then the if you're not gonna pop on a dress, but to me this feels like the easiest. Like I need to get dressed, yeah. get myself put together kind of outfit. If I'm not doing that, I'm doing exactly what you're wearing. Can we talk about these amazing pants? Okay, you guys, this is from Paige. These are the Carly Cargos, and I'm gonna tell you, if we're gonna put on a real pant, a real pant, that means a pant with a button and a zipper. That's what I say to my boys all the time. <laughs> real pant day, 
We're putting on a pant that has a zipper and a button. I know you're not familiar with that. You haven't put on anything with a button in many, many years, but that's what we're wearing today. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Did anybody have that struggle during the holiday season? Like, real pants, real pants. <laughs> well, I'm wearing real pants, but they feel absolutely, if you're gonna wear real pants, wear these. Because, oh my gosh, I've slipped them on. The stretch is yeah. so incredible, crew. And we've had this silhouette before. Yes, and, yeah. it's, and we actually, I think, have a denim version coming yeah. in in January, too. But I think super flattering, great little cargo. That cargo here still feels slimming because it's a little bit, um, more fitted through the leg. I'm wearing a 10 in these, a size 30, and they feel so good. Have it paired back to this little every, I love this, just like a fun little so upgraded cute. basic. This is the Audrey T under 70, I don't, and the sneaker, these little fun new Reagan bone sneakers. It just feels like an easy uniform. That right? also feels, feels like a must have, right? A sneaker? So like, yes. Sneaker, great utility. Easy T. I love this little T, something denim, yep. tall boot. Check, 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 check. Done, you're already on January ahead checklist. of it for January. Question, Question. on tall boots. Yes. How else are we styling them? How are we not styling them? <laughs> good question. <laughs> well, uh, truth be told, I am a skirt fan. I yeah. love a good skirt. Um, and I especially love what's happening with skirts right now because so many of them have slits. So for those of us that are vertically challenged, very nice to show a little bit of skin. So any skirt out there for yeah. sure. I also think it's a really nice way to ca make a dress a little bit more casual. Correct. I will also say, don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just gonna go for it. I never got rid. I have a couple pair of skinny jeans mm -hmm. and slimmer straight jeans that yes. I really, really love still that are like gummy and stretchy and yes. yummy. That tucked into my tall boot with a really relaxed, I was just oversized sweater or hoodie, I feel like is the right way to do it, right? So good. Okay, so what a great segue. Great segue. So hoodie. I got that one. Yes, because how cute would this be with my outfit right now? Sorry, just yeah, going back to myself. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? This little hoodie, also really cozy. Okay, yeah, sorry. But you could totally wear this with a great pair of jeans yes. and a tall boot. That'd be super right? cute. I think what, like the formula here and how it's changed from the last time that we wore tall boots with our jeans tucked in is that the top needs to have that relaxed sensibility to yeah. it, right? So an oversized, yummy, fair isle sweater, mm -hmm. a great, gooshy, gooshy, like spongy sweatshirt, yep. something that has ease to it yep. so that you don't feel like tight, 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 right? right? Yep, I think it's that silhouette on the top is what's making this feel yep. fresh again, yep. making this move forward and not so body skimming, yep. so. I also just love the idea of layer, layer, layer. So even taking like this great hoodie and popping a little jacket on over yep. it with your jeans and your boots would be a really fun way to do it. Sorry, Dance. already jumping the gun. No, you got to do This is such a great little combination. Crew, this was um, one of our best-selling jackets from this fall by Evereve. It was in a green cam, a green little utility color, but I it came it. in this fresh. I bought it. it. I love it. We wore it. But together. in this fresh, that's a win. It's never Evereve. awkward when that happens. And it happens oh, every time we go to California. Yeah, we travel that. together. It's like, what are you wearing tomorrow? I was like, okay, we'll not wear that because I'll wear back that too. <laughs> But you guys, great little tall boot that relaxed but so fitted cute. skinny jean, the hoodie over the top, and then kind of right now we're having this most random 50 degree weather in Minnesota, so you just need that easy yep. little layer. Throw that over the top and that would just be a fun little look paired back to a yeah. tall black boot. And I don't want anyone to freak out about skinny jeans, right? Like what I'm telling you is go to your closet, find the one that you have, or I'm also finding just now that legs are really, like leg openings are opening up so much. Yes that those slim straight denim yes. that I bought, like when I first like had started moving away from skinnies or that you are just now embracing because you're like, okay, I'm ready, I'm finally yep. ready. Like that is such an easy jean because they all have stretch. It's such an easy jean yep. to tuck into a boot. So I do that too. Yep. So don't worry, you don't have to rush out and get a new pair of skinnies. It's all about all the versions, but it's a really easy way to make use of that great tall boot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just wanna, okay, so we just talk about this one more time. How cute would this be together? Like these pants, you guys, these are like, utilities. This to me is January uniform. This right is January there. uniform in yep. a great sneaker. And yep. before we keep moving down the rack and welcome to Live with Heidi and Ash where we're sporadic and we're telling all the things. <laughs> Um, check out these brand new golas. Like how cute would that color combo, like, like that says step into a new year. Yeah. How a adorable pop. would that be? Little so pop. cute. Okay. okay, so you could also, here would be, so this would be fun. So we're talking about these great utility pants, tons and tons of stretch, right? You want something to be easy. I'm also a fan of just a great jean with lots and lots of stretch, right? Yes. So here is kind of a fun utility version of a denim. This is from AG. Crazy, crazy stretch in this one and so, oh, so soft, soft and drapey. 
So I'm gonna take those great gold sneakers that Ash just showed, my fun, relaxed denim, and pair it back to this, uh, oops, backwards, there we go, this adorable little cute. camo sweatshirt from Z Supply. So cute. So great price on this one, super easy. Again, another spin on the uniform, and if you want, snag this little guy again pop it on over how cute would that be so cute um i really want to say finishing touch I so cute that. and you know if you want a little bit of height i know we were last week we had heidi trying on some cargo utility bottoms that were just a little bit longer and so i think if sneakers may feel like i want a little bit of lift yes. check out these brand new dolce vita so little great. mules crew such a great price point such a great color but you slip those on with the cargos same idea of the look but it's giving you a little bit more lift and just a little bit more elevated beyond a sneaker. Yeah. So. so I love this with a full length jean, especially again for those of us that are petite. It's a really nice, easy, keep it by the door, slip on shoe. And with that lug sole, practical for this time of year because you're not dredging through all the guts. Yes. Right? Really, yes. really good one. Okay. All right. What should we talk about next? Let's talk about, like, let's stay, let's stay on the cozy train. Perfect. Okay. Good. Because we all know what Heidi are going to do when we get out of work today is where I'm slipping. Have you guys seen that whole like meme happening on Instagram? It's like your girlfriend out of the house. She's like, you're your wife. And then she walks in the house and all of a sudden she goes straight to her cozies. And then they keep like pushing them in and out of the door. It's like, how, wow, does this happen? This is what you're wearing as soon as you walk through the door. It's true. It's true. And, or you could be like me yesterday who went around 17 errands and realized when I got home that I had not brushed my hair had not like looked in the mirror since I had woken up and like brushed my teeth. <laughs> and I was like, oh wow, you just went out and about like this, like all day long, running your errands, minding your own business, chatting it up with the people when you're doing your returns. And oh. I had like 17 hairs, like everywhere. Every, yeah, but typically I have like a pimple patch somewhere <laughs> and I don't even realize it, so that's, you're winning there. The pimple patch is like the equivalent of like red lipstick. Oh my teeth, God, so like, true, but so true. 2023. Okay. Quick question. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. No, you're so good. Is there any give or stretch with the every jacket, the white one? No, there is not. So no stretch in this guy. And my suggestion on this one is to wear it relaxed. So I I went up a size Same. in this actually. You did too, right? I did too. Yeah. So because I wanted to be able to layer it and knowing that that is absolutely what this jacket is all about. It is yeah. like the finishing touch and you want that flexibility to be able to wear it over sweaters, over hoodies clean little crew neck sweatshirts, I would yeah. go up a size in this one. Yeah. I just, I think, also I just think that like the nature of that, like we've been talking about that balance of proportions is really, really nice. important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great question. That is a great question. Okay, so comfy, cozy, great pieces. Yes. Pop a color. Love that one. Oh, That's right? like if my significant other, who I love dearly and I really do like my gift, but if they would have gotten me, he would have gotten me a gift card, I think I would have gotten this. I know, it's really good. Love it. I know. The colors are so fun. So fun. This feels like, mm, take me on a ski trip, but yes. like even if the ski trip means just like sledding in the backyard with the kids, like right. I can picture it. Like I can make myself a hot toddy when I come in with them. Like that totally works. I'm looking the part doesn't mean I'm doing it. I'm just looking That's at right. it. That's right. That's right. Just looking the part is looking like 90% the part. of the effort, right? Yes. Okay, and then this guy. Oh my god. Kind of opposite end of the spectrum, but equally important. Cozy. Okay. Barley Crew, it has been a hot, hot brand for us all through December, and it's still gonna be a really important brand going into um, January. What I love about this is that true cozy, we're gonna slip and slip on the cozies and watch all the amazing yes. movies before the new year begins. But then, on your Saturday, or you need to get out of the house, run all the errands, this just makes people pull together. And I love this, I don't know if you guys have seen this or invested in anything with Barley, but this like ribbed material, I think the quality of that just lasts forever and great ever. structure and shape so comfy yeah. okay this is a small but this would also just be a great little layer for any of you who are in a little bit more of a warmer climate like and i think this runs generous i i do too yeah and yeah. i don't mind it like how cute would that be as this look too just running around so cute so comfy so comfy and i love to zip them up all the way too because yep. they have these high neck lines. Right. and then if you wanted to add a little spice to it so right? cute graphic tee Two ways to go. So cute. So oh, cute. Number one, let's get a jump on V-Day. You know you're gonna volunteer in your kids' classroom, so you might as well look the part. So here it is. Cute little foil hearts, absolutely love this. Kind of reminds me of that one we had earlier in fall, this, right? Yes. It was gone a hot second. Yes. So cute little foil. And then, if you wanna go a little country rock and roll, this great little Willie Nelson tee, absolutely love this. This is from Daydreamer. Soft, soft, soft. So cute. And crew, if you invest in a graphic right now, this is, they're not dying. 
yeah. anytime soon. And Some I feel like band spring. graphics are absolutely a thing. Yes. As well as like fun print graphics like this all over graphic, so I cute. think. Yeah, two, kind of two ways to do it. And if any of you, I know that it's hard, but I think with this metallic foil, if you have New Year's Eve plans that don't look that much like going out, but you still want to be festive, this just so feels cute. like a fun, cute yes. little tea to be festive for the New Year. Festive. 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 Okay, so cute. Okay. All right, so now if I was going to take either one of these though and wanted to mix up my look on bottom, okay, I'd have chance. Actually, this would be really cute. I know this would be really cute. Wait, I can say many things about these pants. You own these, right? I do. I do too. I love this pant. So cute. Camo, again, I call camo neutral because I think it can go with anything. Yeah. This is a newer silhouette. We've introduced it this fall. This is called the barrel leg. So, what I love about it is it kind of takes the place of a boyfriend jean. Yep. If you're a boyfriend jean lover, a little bit more relaxed. So, if you have a strong thighs a little bit of a booty i think it's flattering and really comfortable and you yes. don't re feel restricted in like a real pant <laughs> oh bless you <laughs> there bless you <laughs> try to look at the light didn't help there it was <laughs> it was coming what but i wanted to know bless you thank you you're welcome thank you <laughs> i don't even know if i said that how rude i'm like let's talk about camo pants we're gonna want your c's um <laughs> so sorry Replay that one. Watch me just sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the arm up there. I don't know if I got that. Okay, so this is called a Marcel. Yep. From Citizens of Humanity. It runs generous. Correct. It's meant to be relaxed, but not so relaxed that it's falling off of you, right? Right. So I did go down a size in this one. Did you? Really I bought true to size. You true to size. Just okay. because I feel like right now I'm still transitioning. Yep. yep. Transitioning. I'm gonna be transitioning for four years <laughs> post my two-year-old's um, birthday. Yes. Um, but the fabrication is so soft crew, yes. and I think with Citizen, sometimes your first wear, they feel fitted, but as you wear it, it starts to relax. Totally so true. I would also say yep. true to size or down. Yes, so yep. my tricky spot is that I have a small waist, strong hips, thighs, butt. So I needed to go down a size for me because of the waist. Nipped in the waist. Because yes, otherwise it was like falling off my yeah. waist, but so fun. So fun, yeah. and I think it just upgrades like a little bit more of a casual look, because yes. that would be a really cute combo together. Yeah, just like, don't you think the other thing to know about camo in general is just that it's coming back? Yes. Like we showed you that really cute Z Supply sweatshirt. Camo in a bottom is definitely a thing. This is your new neutral for spring, a really fun way to kind of refresh your utility. Be really okay, lazy. speaking of relaxed denim. Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Now, that was a very introductory barrel leg yep. from Citizens of Humanity. For all of you who are ready to like take a dare, check out these fun new, what is the name of this? These are the horseshoe jean from Citizens of Humanity. This is like the true bare leg horseshoe relaxed of all yep. relaxed bottoms. Yes, definitely trend forward moving, but a really yep. fun upgrade to any of those basics in your wardrobe. So I'm gonna tell you right now, as a five foot, those pants just do not look in here. As five foot four with short legs, this jean swallows me up. I can't wear yeah. it. Yeah. I love it, I can't wear it, which is why I went with that great Marcel in the camo. It's a more modified version. It really help, feels like I'm getting that trend and I'm kind of nodding towards it, but not getting swallowed up. You are taller than yes. me. You can totally pull this yes. off. And I do carry a little bit more. I just have a strong leg. I have a butt. So I feel like I can pull it off just yes. because it's filling out in areas where it's not just like hanging off the top of me. And with that higher rise too, I'm still got the elongation and I have a little bit of that ankle room just to make my legs look a little bit longer. So petite gals, here's the deal. This is gonna be one of those trends that we're gonna try out and you're, we're gonna need to try multiple versions of it to mm -hmm. find the one that is chef's kiss right for us. Yep. That's always true, I think. Don't you think anytime a new kind of trend cycles is that different body types need to kind of play with it a little yes. bit? And this one is just one where for petites, you need to try. Yeah, some versions. And maybe different yeah. brands, yeah. different iterations, yeah. where that Marcel is a really great introduction. Yeah, okay. A trend you don't need to test out, and I would just say you need to buy. It's not even a trend. It's just an item you need to buy. Everybody needs it. You need it. Everybody needs it. Okay. The Amara, it's back. Remember this amazing, amazing top that we sold out in like 1.6 seconds this fall? It's Hi. back in three colors. She's so good. So speaking of New Year's, need a cute, like easy top for New Year's paired back to like a coated jean fun. or be so fun. So right? fun. Fitted, but not too fitted. It's a Goldilocks of tops, yes, right? It is. Like shaped, but not skin tight. Yes. Flattering, but not oversized. That's right. It's all the things. And it gives think you a little bit of shoulder coverage. Yes, yeah, sorry, like I just that. totally cut you no, off. No, you didn't. I just kept talking. The one thing I was thinking about this is like, I don't know what your New Year's plans are, or even if you're just like 
that getting back into that routine post holiday, this top can be sexy. It yes. can be casual. Yes. It can be a little bit more elevated, or it can be totally relaxed. I think like the fabrication makes it a little bit more casual, but the mm -hmm. the silhouette makes it a little bit more sexy. And then what you're pairing it with, it is like a chameleon of the tops in your wardrobe, one hundred percent. And you can layer it under blazers if you have to go back. And it's in that yes. magic ribbed fabrication from Michael yeah. Stars. Yeah. So we know it's still flattering. I am like totally drawn to this color because right now I feel like in the we're not even in the dead of winter. It's still 50 degrees off. Um, I feel like, oh, we could use some sunshine and some colors. So that little color, you know, that color makes you feel a little bit more fresh and alive. Okay, one last key look that yeah. I'm kind of digging right now. And, and again, this falls in the category of I need to look put together, but I don't want to try too hard to give you put together because I just don't have the energy or effort in my body right now for it, right? It is taking a fabulous white tee. This one by Cuts. So good, we're going to talk about it a great button down and a killer pair of jeans easy with stretch okay so easy. starting with the tee let's oh. talk about this basic tee that every fashion call basic it's it looks basic but it's not basic if we say it is your staple it's a staple it's that's a, a staple. really great thing okay so we just started carrying cuts really fun new brand that we just started to kick off with we have it in three colors i think right now there's a gray white and black this is an easy crew neck. The fabric crew is what is so amazing about it. It just feels like sturdy, but thin enough that you can layer it in this great little bright white. Um, you're gonna run true to size within it. And what I love about it, it's the perfect length. So yep. You don't need to tuck it in. You can let it sit out. If you wanna do a little half tuck, you can totally do it. But truly the length on this is flattering. It's not too tight. It's just such a winner that great sleeve. This is always sleeve. my pet peeve with t-shirts when they have like a wingy sleeve. But it's true. Really, really great shape on the sleeve, which is not easy to do. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I have a lot of t-shirts in my closet. And Ash is right, it's a great length because it's not too, too long, but it's just long enough that you need to do just a little tuck you can. So yeah. here is how we're styling it. We're taking a fabulous blouse, yep. button down relaxed in nature, relaxed in silhouette, and we're popping on this great t-shirt underneath and we're opening up the buttons yep. a little bit. So it doesn't need to be buttoned all the way up. We're gonna let that t-shirt kind of show and we're gonna tuck all that business right in to a great pair of jeans. So this is from Good American. The reason we grabbed this is number one, crazy, crazy stretch. Number two, super flattering seaming. So love this twist front seam, which is leg lengthening, leg slimming. This like kind of destruction gives it a little bit of attitude, a little bit of personality, and takes an otherwise pretty basic outfit and brings it to a whole new level. So yeah. key here, again, you're gonna keep hearing us talk about this. Relax, relax, relax. Proportion, proportion, proportion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relax silhouettes on top, great shape in the bottom. We could do the opposite right with a more relaxed bottom, more shaped top but it's all about getting that right and having some fun with it. So darn cute, right? And then, of course, back to your sneaker. Such a good sneaker. And I think what I love about Gola, sorry, side note, they're typically such an amazing price point. So if you just want something fresh, yeah. I think it's like around 100 or under yeah. 100, such a great little sneaker. So two little gray blouses, this black and white pinstripe, as well as this beautiful kind of plum with denim -y blue yeah, from Pistola. Really, really nice and meant to be drapey, yes. right? So both of these really nice drape. What's the Excuse name me. of the black button down again? This one's by Pistola as well. And this one's called the Irene Effortless Shirt because that's what it should be. I know. Effortless. I own this. Absolutely love it. I love that it's relaxed. It is relaxed gang. So just a heads up on that. Yes. Even me, broad shoulders, I went, I wore an extra small on this. An extra small. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, and if I wish you guys could feel the fabric because it doesn't feel like that shirting where all of a sudden you sit down and it's gonna wrinkle yes. like no like, but I need a seatbelt. I hate that. It just I get in the car, I'm like, dang it, there goes the outfit. And like, you just spent all that time yeah. ironing and steaming and then you're just like, Yeah, so no, this nobody even got great drape on perfect. both of these, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And black and white so easy. And are these new items or clearance items? I think everything we have on the rack crew is new. These are new arrivals just hitting, um, but the clearance section in our stores and on our site is bursting with so many things. Starting guys. with this amazing Corky's. Corky's, but it's Corky Corky that you have to have. So, sale is going on right now, 20% off of clearance. It's a great time to stock up on some of those sweaters if you're like us, where the weather has hardly even turned. So oh my gosh, you know it's going to come though, and it's going to come fast and furious, and it's going to be brutal when it's yeah. going to hit us all in the face. So we're going to wish we all had some cozy sweaters and jackets. Yes. So much love for your dress. It's I know. Gang, it's really great. And I'm going to tell you, like, 
I was like, oh God, am I really putting that on today? It's <laughs> so comfortable. It's so comfortable. And I do feel really kind of put together and it's fun. And Liz, our director yes. of buying was wearing this in the office when it came in last week, right before the holidays. And I was like, dang girl, you look good in that. She looked hot. She I, did. And that she might did. be inappropriate to say t a I, photo. A coworker. A coworker. Well, in this environment, yes. when we're talking about product, Yes, you she, can look hot. Smoke show. Smoke Total show. Total smoke show. So yes. it's, a, it's a booster. One more question with those jeans that are very trend forward. Yes. yes. Any ideas of how to style that if they're yeah. going to go for it? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to keep it the basic of basic crew. When you are trying out a new trend like that, I think especially in a bottom, this could also be in a top, depending on your body type, you're going to keep it as simple as a basic t-shirt or long sleeve. So what I do love about this is this gives you just a little bit of shape, kind of elevates it. You could throw a jacket over the top of it. That bomber would be really fun and fresh. But I just think a simple basic t-shirt like this cuts is just a really great way to like play with that trend. I think you could wear the t-shirt you're wearing too. Actually, yeah, that would be so cute. Yeah, and then really just like cute. a little sneaker. Yeah. I just think keep everything basic on top when you're introducing, especially within a pant, just let, let that be the hero. And then as you get more comfortable with it and trying new things, then I think you can spice it up. But I would start it out with just a really great basic. Yeah. I've got cuts. And yeah. then any shoes you would recommend with those? Yeah, talk about shoes. Oh, shoes. I think, honestly, I have a pair of barrel legs, maybe not that exaggerated. I would start out with a sneaker. I think, again, it kind of goes back to what you're wearing for the top. So if you're gonna do that basic white tee and maybe the bomber, let's do a sneaker, keep it really, really casual. But if you're gonna do something a little bit more fitted, um, like maybe that Michael Stars, I would do this. Sometimes with a wider leg, I always feel like it's more flattering when you have yeah. a little bit of lift. Yeah. And so what I love about this too, is it's gonna expose a little bit of skin, which again, gives you a little bit more of elongation because when you get a little too flat, sometimes it starts to feel a little frumpy. What, okay, what about like your booty wardrobe? Like you've got booties in your closet. That's that a you, great question. Right, it's like, I think for booties, like I like something with more of a stacked heel. I yes. wouldn't go with anything too feminine. So, so this true. is where I'd stay away from like that black, that Blake booty yep. that we love, yes. love, yes, love. Yes, Looks so great with straights and flares. Sexy. But with this, you need something with a little bit more weight to it. It doesn't yes. have to be like a lug sole. It doesn't have to go no. that far. But something with more of a substantial heel, I think really helps yes. us. Like that, like that great Corky's yes. beauty we have yes. would be really, really good with Just this. to give you the list. So if you are buying this online or heading into a store, bring a shoe into the dressing room with you or when you try it on at home, put a shoe on right away because I think that's where you're gonna get the best yeah. visual. You need that balance. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's like the first time we tried skinny jeans. You're like, oh my gosh, this is so terrifying. You can see everything, let's put on a tall boot. I think with these wider legs, this new silhouette, give yourself some look as well. I agree. That's a great question. Citizens. Citizens. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the horseshoe jean. Yeah. Someone did ask if they're five two. Can they rock those jeans or any recommendations? I mean, gang, here. First of all, I'm never gonna tell you you can't, like, because I think every trend can be for everybody. Yeah. It's it's for you to decide. I just found that this silhouette on me was too much. Mm -hmm. Like, it just swallowed me up in a way that like, and a part of it might be because my legs are short, so like that proportion on me yeah. felt really yeah. wacky. Um, and if my legs were a little bit longer or more proportional to my torso, they might have felt better. But I have, I'm wearing a horseshoe jean today, came in, changed, that is a little more subtle. And that one, easy, that Marcel, oops, here it is on the floor. That Marcel, killer, 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 killer. I absolutely love this pants Same. on me. Same. Yeah. I, so, I love it too because yeah. it gives you a little bit of it, like a little yeah. bit of width, but yeah. not too over. I'm too. never going to tell you you can't. I think yeah. you got to. I think you should give it a shot and see how it feels on you. At five two, one little tip I would give you though is for your top, you don't need something tight, but do something a little bit more fitted. So you more have shape. a t-shirt that just skims a little bit more of your body. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great, just so that the whole look doesn't overwhelm yeah, you. Like this. That paint. Again, like yeah, this again, would be such so a great, not too tight, but just skimming. Yeah. So that would be my only tip if you're going to try it, which I think would be really fun. One more quick question. Yeah. Do you, um, are you true to size in your dress height? True to size. Yep. True to size. And again, I love, the thing I love about it the most is this waistband. Yes. Like, and the relaxed top. This is like my favorite silhouette of a dress. Relaxed top, more shaped bottom. Yes. Flattering on everybody. Totally works. And for being 5'3", I love that that more fitted bottom just like shows your shape, especially when you have something yes. long. So when you guys start to see too, those longer denim skirts that are gonna start hitting our sites, start hitting our stores. I think, again, keeping it a little bit more fitted, not getting too wide, yeah. is gonna be a really key for somebody who's a little bit more. Secret sauce, for sure. Yeah. Smoke. Okay. <sighs> Yay.
Happy post holidays, almost New Year. We're almost in 2024. We're almost there. This is the hangover or the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be in bed by I know. Sort of. Some will be. <laughs> Have a great, great rest of your holiday week. I hope you don't know what day it is and you keep that trend up for the next couple days. Yes. And we will see you in the new year. Take care, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy new year.